Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is Owl Diaries, Eva at the Beach, Chapter 2. Legend of the Mermowls. Monday. Lucy came over tonight to help me pack for our vacation. Yay, we're going to the beach. How did you pack so quickly? Because, unlike you, I didn't pack everything. Ha <laughs> ha, good point. When I was showing Lucy my new sunglasses, Humphrey burst into my room. He took a photo of us with his new camera. Click. Humphrey! Brothers can be so annoying. Lucy and I made a list of our beach plans. Here it is. Beach plans. Build sandcastles. Make shell necklaces. Eat ice cream. Paint seashells. Skim pebbles. Swim in the sea. I'm super excited to go swimming. Um, yeah, me too. Diary, the truth is that I'm not at all excited about swimming in the sea. I've actually always been scared of it. I know it sounds silly, which is why I've never told Lucy. But, Diary, there are all those big fish out there. What if one of them thinks I look tasty? After I finished packing, Lucy stayed for a sleepover. We got in bed early. That way, our vacation starts sooner. I'm too excited to sleep. Me too. Dad came in to say good night. You both need lots of sleep so you can be ready to look for the mermowls of Flappington Beach tomorrow. Uh, what is a mermowl? Dad explained that mermowls are half fish, half owl creatures. They have feathers and a super shiny, colorful fish tail. Flappington Beach is famous for the legend of the merm owls. Owls say the merm owls live far out to sea. Lots of owls say they've seen merm owls, but no one has been able to prove they're real. I think it's just a fun story, but who knows? Maybe you two can use my binoculars to spot them. Wow, thanks, Dad. Now get to sleep, my little mermowl spotters. We will, right after we add one more thing to our beach plans. Find mermowls. End of chapter two. We'll see you back here very soon for chapter three. Bye-bye.